Hello, today's video is quite literally brought to you by today's sponsor, PCBWay. More about that later. Now, today's video is going to be on building ERA, which you might know from my other video is Explosive Reactive Armor, which is a continuation of last time's failure, solving two problems, power and material. Power being the yes. actual explosive Go. force to actually push the plate out and material because believe it or not 3D printed PLA is not the best at containing micro explosions. Aside from that, the shell of what I'm going to use as the ERA base, I guess you can call it. The parts haven't actually arrived yet so I'm going to go get into that as soon as they arrive. I love the smell of new packaging. Now that my parts have arrived, PCBWay is an industrial level manufacturer which manufactures parts to your specifications. Their services include all the way from PCB circuit boards down to 3D printing, injection molding and even CNC machining. Within a vast range of parts fabrication options, within those options, you can also pick vast ranges of finishes, such as a matte black finish on a metal or a polymer, or even gloss. They even offer post-manufacturing checks, such as quality checks, smoothness checks, and even assembly tests. So even though they offer many services and options to manufacture your complex parts, what's not complex is their ordering system, which is very simple. All you have to do, send a model, get a quote, accept the quote, and there you are. Easy and done. The delivery is also pretty damn fast. Sure. So if you're like me with a printer that can't do shit sometimes, or you're just a person that wants really precise and good quality parts, such as a turbo jet engine, and yes, the one that I'm showing is made from them, then PCBWay is literally the way to go. So thank you PCBWay for sponsoring my project, and please check them out with the link in the description below. Holy shit, that's the most fucking stickers I've ever seen in my life. Damn, that's actually pretty cool. I love stickers. This is actually better quality than I thought. And after repeating the unwrapping process three more times, I ended up with three pieces like this. Until now, you might have noticed something, which is that part in particular. It might look uneven and rough, but I'm telling you, it's perfectly smooth. You can see reflection. So last time for testing, I resulted in throwing a rock down a tube, and it didn't hit its target, and wasn't even that powerful. So this time, I put some extra thought into it and bought myself a BB gun. Now this was legal for me as far as I know, because it passed through my import checks and everything else. That is a pass through. Oh, that's good enough. So for the test, I wanted to start off small. And I was pretty happy with it actually. Now a lot of you were complaining in the last video that I wasn't using enough power so I should use something like Tannerite but since I can't use that I'm going to use a shit ton of match powder and to prove that match powder can be ignited by the cap I did that test as well. So after assembling all the ERA parts together and placing a virtually indestructible floor mat along with shielding, the best I could improvise, I was ready to test. Ah, oh, there we go, keeping with the tradition, mounting it on a tank chassis. Now I'm not uh, mounting it on an angled part because that's going to ricochet and fly in my face if it does blow. So I'm mounting it on its side. I'm wearing air muffs and this is still loud. Oh, Jesus. Did that actually set off? Yeah, it did.
Damn. I saw that. Another round. It's aimed a bit higher. Yup, that one's off. So yeah, after a half a year of development, I finally got a working mini prototype. And once again, I want to thank PCBWay again for sponsoring my project, because without them, literally, quite literally, this video wouldn't even be possible. So yeah, I want to thank them for that, go check them out, it would help me and help them a lot. And yeah, you probably won't be seeing this project again, probably in the next few years I'll bring it back because there is a IRL War Thunder that I would like to try, maybe equipping RC tanks with this type of stuff, but yeah, I need money, so please subscribe and get me to that point. Yep, see ya. An explosive sandwich, if I might say.